Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be installing Windows 3.0 build 14. What do you mean encoding overloaded? My ass, bro. Uh, now this is the first uh, leaked build of Windows 3. It was compiled on the 22nd of February, 1989, so pretty early. Uh, this still features the MS-DOS Executive with a pretty different color scheme. Uh, this was leaked to Beta Archive sometime in 2015. Yep, uh, so, uh, I'm gonna start this video by actually setting up the file settings, something I don't usually do. Auto detect hard disk. Seems good to me. Okay, now, seems good to me. Now I'm just going to set the, uh, the floppy drive. One more 10 megabytes. Okay. Now I'm going to insert my floppy. Now I'm going to reboot. And I'm going to uh 80s no not 86 DOS. MS DOS is going to install. Uh Okay, well, uh the menu bar is kinda just kinda fucked up. Uh I'm just gonna show a screenshot once. Uh, I'm editing this. Oh, whoa. That's cool. Enter. Did this just freeze? Enter. There you go. Welcome to Compact FA Start. Faster. Oh, that's cool. Enter. Automatic operation. Oh, it's restarting already. That's cool. It's about formatting drive C. I guess it's already done the partitioning and stuff. Now it's just formatting. I've only used this utility once, and it required some floppy that I didn't have. Uh, so I guess we'll just see how far this gets. 121 megabytes. I'm not sure if that's right. Probably just a different system. But if I go in my VM settings, it says 115 megabytes. So yeah, it's pretty wrong. But it could just be Mebibytes or whatever the hell it is. Uh, Mebibytes, I'm pretty sure, is 1,024 kilobytes in a, in a megabyte, and then megabytes is actually 1,000. Whatever. Uh, this is taking quite a while. I mean, to be fair, this is a 33 megahertz processor. <laughs> 33 megahertz, 33 megahertz, 386. Oh, okay. It's MS DOS help. This option allows you to install the current version of MS DOS on a newly partitioned and formatted disk. The MS DOS files are copied to the DOS directory, directory created on your fixed disk. Do the MS DOS discats must be inserted to drive A. I guess that's disk 2. The fixed disk initialization procedure is completed. The system will now reset from your fixed disk. Okay, I'm gonna eject and enter. I guess DOS is finished installing. That's cool. Uh, took quite a while. Well, yep, that worked. Compact personal computer DOS version 3.31. And if we just do a directory listing, yep. Now, I think. This version is on five and a quarter inch discs. Oh, I've never installed this before. Yep. Uh, I don't know if this will work. Oh, okay. Set up, see, Windows. Now, uh, I wonder if this is gonna be a problem. See, like, uh, I wonder if it's gonna tell me to put the, the, uh, the second disc in drive A. Cause drive A is a three and a half inch drive, 1.44 megabytes. No, nope, it's not gonna be a problem. Okay, that's good. Now it's copying. Okay, it's finished. 
Okay. Device C Windows High Mem. Says. Okay, there's no. You have to edit the config.sys manually because there is actually I know what I could do. Now that I think about it, I could just boot in with a MS DOS 6 boot disk. This DOS 6.2 to die MG. Okay. Edit.exe C. Okay. Edit config.sys. There we go. Device equals C Windows high mem .sys. Yes, I want to save it. Then I'm gonna reboot. And that should work, I think. Okay now, uh so works this. C D Windows Win386, uh, you boot using uh, Win386, in order for a Windows 2.1, and there we go! Uh, I'm in. Okay, so, as you can see, this build still contains the MS-DOS executive here. Now, funny, funnily enough, if we go to file and about MS-DOS exec, it says version 2.1, which uh, means it's based on Windows 2, 2.1. It says Windows v3.0 debug release 1.14. Now, watermarks in Windows builds wouldn't really be uh, brought back until like Windows 98 builds, so that's pretty cool. Now, d.bat. Oh. Okay. Well, it doesn't really look like there's too much. Is, is there a reversey? There's no reversey! Uh, riot. We must riot. <laughs> anyway. I wonder if deleting win.i and i will actually restore the Windows 2 color scheme. Yeah, what do you know? It does bring back the Windows 2 color scheme. That's cool. Uh... There's not really much to check out. There's no control panel. Hmm. Now, it's the MS-DOS executive and MS-DOS D. Hmm. There's really nothing to check out, but I thought this cool. I thought this build would be cool to uh, check out. Now, is there a notepad? No. There's not even Microsoft Write. <laughs> uh. Now, uh, the. The context menus have a drop shadow behind them, I found that pretty cool, and they're also highlighted in red now. This build seems to use a different font from Fixus, but I don't- I, I'm not sure. Well yeah, there's- this, uh, pretty much all for this video. It's a pretty short video. Uh, the raw recording for this is only 14 minutes, so, uh, I guess I will see you guys in the next video, because there's literally nothing to check out in this build. Uh, there's stuff that's special, stuff, but that's really all there is. Control panel, the task manager. Okay, it doesn't work. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.